Hey everybody, it's Seven Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of Fire 3. In the last episode, we took out the Chimera. Chimera, however you want to say it. We did it. He's murdered, and so now we're still chilling with Ray and Nina. Trying to just kind of go through this area, you know? We've got some things to do. We did get ourselves a crappy looking key card um, after we beat the Chimera at the end of the last episode. So that's pretty chillin'. We're glad to have that. Oh, we found some HE shells. Mom, we can use them to destroy plant life. Hmm. Wonder if we're ever gonna need to do that. Yes, we will. Spoiler alert. We might as well show this battle since it's the first battle of the episode. But yeah, so... We finally beat the Chimera, now we need to get our way back over, well not really over anywhere, we need to figure out a way to meet Myria herself, because that is the god that we are trying to meet, the one that ordered all of the dragons to be murdered. The very same. Alright, Ryu is level 39, he's a, just a big tanky boy, I mean there's no stopping Ryu at this point. It's locked, maybe Ray would be able to pick it. Oh weird, good thing we have him. We got the giant shield. We got the dragon shield. We got the dragon helm. I think that's everything in here. Most of that is actually for my boy Ryu. The dragon shield. Great, great. Protection against flame. Wonderful. Same with that. So he's pretty much chilling. I guess we have the thunder ring still on. Might as well give him the high boots. Because why not? And then the giant shield, I think that's a gar thing, to be honest with you. But cool. At least we got the dragon equipment. That's actually super useful for Ryu. Helps make him a lot more tanky. But that's why I want to bring Ray down this path. Now there is something that Ray is super useful for later moving forward so you still want to keep him in mind don't completely forget about your boy ray like he's still if he's not the same level as my ray hmm, maybe consider making him the same level as my ray you can get battles in here that's kind of crap nina's almost got another level for herself so she's doing it great which is good because we need her to have all the levels honestly like she needs to learn some of the skills that i want her to learn at this point it's just like it's time Nina, it's time to learn them, you know? Just do it! Now down this... Oh, that's where we got the one thing. Yeah, we just need to, like, exit out of here now. Ooh, Nina's so close to level 34. I forget what level she learns her next set of spells, but we need them. So I'm absolutely excited to get my hands on those. <laughs> so we can finally, you know, do some damage with her. All right, here it is, level 34. Nothing learned, which makes sense because we just learned Sirocco like last level up, I think. We did it on the previous episode, at least. I think to get out of here, we need to go this way, actually. But yeah, so we definitely already learned, like recently learned Sirocco, so it makes sense to not learn anything now. But I think she has at least two spells to learn still. Once you beat the Chimera, all this electric bullshit, it's done and over with. You don't have to... Don't even sweat about it. Don't don't even worry. Just a single little lizard all by his lonesome. Which is very interesting. But now we can get out of here. Now we gotta go explore like the other half of the Zarkon, which we haven't really... I didn't even really necessarily show that off. We kind of just ran up here to begin with. Which is all fine and dandy. We will get over there eventually. Here's our nice healing room. Always take those. Does that heal, raise death wounds? Oh, it did. Interesting. That's nice. That's way nice, actually. This part takes forever. Like, riding down this escalator, I'm like, I'm gonna die here. It takes so long. A ridiculous amount of time, actually. Alright, so then the next half of everything is kind of over here with this green tile. Like, you see we went towards the orange tile first. Nice, one of those armors he always likes to... They can drop claymores, which is weird. Claymores were useful forever ago, but they're not really so useful now. So that is pretty odd, actually. 
Um, so now we need to get Miss Momo in the party. So let's take everything off of Nina. And honestly, at this point... No, I think we still need Ray, so we'll keep Ray. What do I want to do? I want to change my party members to Miss Momo, who's only level 30. Ugh. She's way behind, actually. So is Gar. Maybe I should do some grinding here and now... I don't know. I think I'm definitely going to actually... Let's look at skill notes, because I know it got at least one more skill link. Oh, I have three right now. Let's take from Ray Monopolize. And for right now, we can give that to Miss Momo so she can learn some stuff. Let's rearrange her... Like, let's see. If I can get down here to a blank space... Let's rearrange so it's like... Inferno and Blizzard are up here. So Momo never does get access to... Sirocco, which is interesting. But at least right now she can get a lot of experience. Like, right before we head into the fight that I'm thinking of. She needs the HE shells. Um, for what we're going towards. Let's give her the wisdom ring and the shaman's ring. Since Ms. Momo is going to be chilling with us. Like I said, I mean, and we've had this discussion a million times before, too, I think. But it's like, I definitely prefer Momo. I mean, I definitely prefer Nina over Momo. I definitely- oh, I meant to use Monopolize. I definitely prefer Nina over Momo, so I don't find myself using Momo too much. But, some parts, like this part, it's necessary. Nice, I did use Monopolize that time, and it's gonna get Momo to level 31. Sick. The Hawk's Ring, I think that raises accuracy. We'll look. Oh, raises chance of surprise attack. Yeah, I don't care that much about that. To be honest with you, I just don't care. So now we can run up this way on these wild escalators. I'm sure the only one that's ever seen anything like this is probably Miss Momo. They give us a nice healing room here too, which is very generous. I must say. Mmm... Ooh, here is a new enemy, Wraith. Um, I'm pretty sure they're similar to their palace swaps that we've seen before. I think they just straight up steal your MP. But I'm not sure about that. We'll give Miss Momo all of the experience, though. Typhoon, that's just a straight up wind attack. It's kind of shocked that you're doing that. Let's see if Momo can hurt them at all with Inferno. It doesn't seem like anybody else can do damage. Or maybe he's only hurt by magic damage. That's why I'm having her do Momo, Momo do Inferno, because I kind of forget. I think there is an enemy like that that can only be hurt by magic, and I think it's this one. Flame barrier is destroyed. So did you have a barrier of flame before? Is that what you're saying? Or like, I'm confused. I absolutely forget how the Wraith works. Now that the flame barrier is down, can you be hurt by fire more? Question mark? Wraith? Oh yeah. Okay. I guess I kind of see this theme there. Gave Momo 1250 experience, so can't complain. So this is where you need Miss Momo's HE shells, because when you hit that, it kills the plants. But I think that's literally the only time you need her to do that. If I'm wrong, we're going to have to run back and forth again, but I'm not I'm not going to use Momo for this upcoming part. <gasps> Trolled ya. I mean, I'm fine with Momo having monopolized for now because I do plan on training everybody up, and I think that Momo is going to be my ticket to getting all of Deesa's skills. I 
Oh, here is a new enemy, Plant 42, and he has the initiative. But it's like you still have to walk around here with Momo, so... Let's go ahead and monopolize. These things aren't too bad. They're standard fare. They look at, they work pretty much exactly like their pilot swaps. What were they called? The Audrey's before? Wow, Momo didn't even get a chance to monopolize there. Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Nothing too scary or ridiculous. So that's good. Yeah, I think it's literally only that one door that you need to break with the HE shells, and then Momo's useless after that. So let's put her in the back and get Miss Nina back up in front. Ooh, nice little lump stum of experience for Momo right there. Right before we put her back. Alright, so I'm still going to keep Ray in the party. But I do want to take Nina with us. I think it's just the smartest decision. Give me the spike gauntlets, UV glasses, holy robe. Give her the shaman's ring and the wisdom ring. And we're chilling. And then she'll get some more levels. Obviously, I'm not too worried about monopolizing her experience because Nina's going to be around for a while. And like I said, I will be training up everybody. But the way I look about the Nina versus Momo situation specifically is I think that Momo may be more useful like for a specific boss fight, you know, like for the final boss when you're fighting the final boss. Um, I could see Momo potentially being more useful there, but Nina's more useful to go through dungeons with. She just has all of that AP and she gets a versatile spell. She learns a lot of her spells. Um, and then with Dwarf's Shout and stuff, she becomes very versatile. I just think Nina's the better option overall, just mainly because of the AP factor. Her AP is so astronomically larger than Momo's that it's like, how can you not bring that? Get our nice heal woo heal here. Now there is some some nice little nuances in the next area that we're going to. In this area where it's all green, there's some very interesting enemies that we can run into. That was not one of them. That was just a plant 42. So it's like it's fine. Um, but there's a lot of good treasures around here. There's a protein just chilling right there. We'll probably use that at some point. I know I just used a bunch of those, what, in the last episode? Noise. Got a mandrake. Not that I really care about that too much. But at least we have it, right? So then once we can get down here on the green part, there is lots of treasures. Okay, so here is the Goo King. This is one of those very interesting um, enemies I was telling you about. You want to steal from this man as much as possible. So I'm having Ray use Pilfer, right, Ray use Steal. See if we can get something from him. Green Apple, that's not what we want. He wants its item back, so he gets pissed once you steal from him. Oh, and then he gets super strong. That's the T. I forgot. Okay, so we need to bring... Because this be could become an issue. Once you steal his item, his green apple, he gets pissed. And then he's way stronger to fight. But then you have to actually kill him. <laughs> Which is an issue because he's freaking a beast. But then he has a chance to drop the Royal Goo King, the Goo King Sword, which is the strongest sword in the game. Even stronger than the, um, what am I trying to say? It's stronger than the Royal Sword that we have now. Tornado, I'm pretty sure, does the half thing. Yeah, didn't really affect us. Let's have Ray heal himself with a multivitamin. Ryu attack, Nina, Siroku. These guys can be really, really strong, so you gotta be careful around the Goo King. He is... He's very intimidating. 157, that's not bad damage. Let's see, because we want to kill him, and then it's a small percentage chance... Ooh, he has Siroku too. But then it's a small percentage chance that he even drops that sword, so it's like, it's kind of a process. But if you can get it... Oh wow, that murked Nina, that's unfortunate. See if Ray can use a multivitamin on himself. Ryu just keeps smashing out that damage because he's the only one really doing real damage. I mean, Nina was helping for sure, but I mean, Ryu's doing almost 200 a pop. 
Tornado, not too scary. We'll have Ray revive Nina, because I think this thing gives a lot of experience, too. Oh, wow. Just kidding. Okay, so Ray multivitamin on Ryu. Ryu just keep punching out the damage. Let's see. Can you die already, Goo King? Ragnarok, that's gonna kill Ray. This thing has some of the strongest. Oh wow, did we just die die? <laughs> Oops. Well that's awesome. Alright, and after that tragedy, I went ahead and I leveled everybody up to level 37. Level 37 is actually the level that Miss Nina finally learns her last spell, Malinar. I was actually wrong. She doesn't learn Inferno. You can only get it through DS. Um, but she has Sirocco, so it's totally fine. Malinor is like her strongest move. It's times one a target. One target. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at her... Intelligence is at 246. She's crazy. Ryu's power is at 345. So at least they're a little bit closer here. They're higher level. And then I was also thinking, now that we got that key card, I think we actually have... Well, let me get through this. I think with that uh, crappy key card that we got th from the Chimera, we actually have access to a couple more areas, if I'm not mistaken. Security level B. I think that's what we have. Door lock released. Perfect. So then this gets us ew, an army of honeys. Demon's Bane, which I think is for Ryu, question mark. It's not that great. It's not as good as the Royal Sword, but if you didn't get the Royal Sword, I guess that's what you could look. You could use. Yeah, these all look just like honey. Would you like what's a navigator? Oh. They're guides to Myril's or Brutal Station. Oh, they had navigator codes. That's why Honey has that. So somehow Honey got washed up and sent all the way across the sea to Miss Momo. All right, and that was an armor, but he did put Ray to sleep and damage him a little bit. So we're going to have to fix that up immediately. Please. Yeah, and then the other side, I'm other side, I'm pretty sure is access level A, but I think there's another access level B thing outside here before we move on to the next area. The next area I am very excited about. Wow, these armors are getting very aggressive around here. I don't like it. They almost killed Nina. Let's see. Security level A. Ooh, we can't get into that. We don't have that yet, but on this side, I think there's another door, question mark. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just the one. Well, my bad. So now we can actually continue through the green zone. And I did already run up forward with Momo and break those plants. So we're good to get just continue with Nina. Did I? I don't think I equipped Nina again since... Is everybody equipped? Oh, no, they all are. Everybody's equipped. Ooh, Ryu's almost close to getting to a level. So that'll be pretty nice. So if we do run into another Goo King, hopefully we can take him on. I will, I'll save beforehand for sure this time. <laughs> kind of overestimated what we could do but literally if we get one it's worth turning into a dragon for because there's our healing room right over here so we might as well do that freely if we see them oh here's another new enemy foul weed actually i think that i don't know if i'm remembering correctly or not but they, i think we can steal something from them we might as well show off uh nina's new spell to malner i can barely pronounce it but we might as well show it off it's really really strong I mean, it really kind of broadcast how strong her intelligence is, and if you put her in a magic formation, she can do a lot of damage, because that's 198. That's almost as good as Ryu's slashing attacks right now. These foul weeds do have a lot of HP, if I remember correctly. Oh, I should have pilfered just to see. I'm pretty sure they have an item that you can get. Ryu is level 40. He turns into a bad boss, as always. I didn't get this yet because I didn't come back in here, but we do want to explore in through here. Make sure you have Ray with you. Like, absolutely. It's crucial to have Ray. Yeah, and so it's like I'm still leveling up everybody even though I don't necessarily need it at this point, but any extra levels are good. I've kind of thrown Gar and Pico to the wayside at this point because it's like getting to that point in the game where you, you kind of need to. You got to pick who you're going to use and who you're not going to use. Now, Ray kind of forced on you. Now, it's not a bad thing because Ray's a really good party member. 
Um, but yeah, you do kind of have to use him for one of these very important boss fights coming up. Um, but then the final boss, you have free reign of whoever you want to use. Obviously, Ryu is required, but... Lots of... There's more foul weeds there. Um, I was hoping to steal... I think that you can steal something good from them. We'll see if I can actually get my hands on it or not. Not as good as the Goo King Sword, mind you. Nothing is as good as the Goo King Sword. Which I actually have not ran into another Goo King yet. Oh, Nina got to level 38. Nice. Um, they're kind of rare to run into. But if you can get yourself the Goo King Sword, I mean, everything is good. There is a door over there that we have to explore, but here's a lock that you specifically need Ray for. If that's not a hint that you need to bring Ray, I don't know what is. If we run into another Goo King, I'm definitely gonna try it though. Like I'm, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. I'll use the save state before just to be safe, but I'm gonna I'm go for it, you know? Nothing is so rude. Ooh, a wisdom fruit. Those are nice. We might be using those in the final battle. Nice, more just more annoying enemies. I wish we could find a Goo King instead of just killing a me, which is super rude. So now, oh, there's a chest right over here. The silver tiara, that's for Nina, I'm pretty sure. Let's double check. Oh yes, blessed armor. Goes perfect with her holy robe. She's looking great. She's feeling great. She's looking great. Things are going good if you're Nina. Oh, it's just power food from them. Wow, I thought it was something better. My mistake, I guess. Oh, well, well. Good experience. I mean, we'll take the power foods. I'll keep stealing them just because it's like, why not? All right, let's see. Dragon Spear, that's for Gar. Not that I'm using him, but if you are using Gar, well, that, you probably are happy about that. All right, that was just one of those wraiths. Super annoying, but since um, Ray has some lightning magic and then Nina obviously has lightning magic, they can both use it and just take him out in one turn, which is super convenient and nice for me. And Ray's getting close to level 38. It's like more power to him. If he wants to do it, he can do it. Why not, you know? Is this the room? Oh yeah, we're coming up on it, guys. We're coming up. Please choose a destination. Let's go to Eden. It's the only option. Whoa! Well, what will we find in Eden? Find out next time on Breath of Fire 3. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Breath of Fire 3. Make sure to smash that like button, show your support for the series. The support always means a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this. And in the next episode, we'll have one of the most epic battles in the entire game. Peace.